bathing and skin care introduction bathing nursing procedure is a common procedure for promoting skin care it is a part of total hygiene practice who are admitted in hospital or bed hidden clients are patients bathing remove accumulated dirt and some pathogenic and non pathogenic bacteria maintenance of personal hygiene is necessary for individuals comfort safety and sense of well being definition of bed bath bed bath means cleaning patients body from body from head to toe are removing dirt and promoting skin care and personal hygiene bathing guidelines cleanliness cannot be on a time clock client preference and need opportunity to assess teach exercise gloves client participation oral care cultural differences types of bath complete bed bath partial bed bath hand face back axilla perineum tub bath shower therapeutic bath stitch bath medicated bath needed equipment two washcloth two towels bath blanket soap toilet items basins and pieces gloves laundry bag assess ability to perform self care deter- and determine type of bath bed bath urine ba- urinal purpose of bathing cleansing the skin stimulation of the circulation cleansing the skin remove precipitation bacteria which minimize skin irritation and reduces enhance infection stimulation of circulation warm water and gentle strokes from distal proximal increase circulation and promote venous return improve self image promotes feeling of being refreshed calm relaxed reduction of body odors especially in axilla and pubic areas promotion of range of motion movement of extremities while bathing factors affecting personal hygiene cultural and religious development of stage mobility emotional physical illness personal preferences restorative skin care when giving a bath bath you can examine the patient's entire body observe and report skin that is pale dark or red in in color rough and chapped in texture dry or flaking flaking in mature injured blisters bruises or laceration sore pressure sores or infections benefits of bathing removes perspiration dirt and germs refreshes patients and makes them more comfortable stimulation stimulate circulation helps prevent skin problems provide exercise four main types of baths complete bed bath partial bed bath tub bath shower bath rules for bathing use go- body mechanics use standard precautions as needed protect the person from falling wash from the cleanest area to the dirtiest area rinse all areas thoroughly pads skin dry do not rub the skin dry and under breast between skin folds and between toes bath skin whenever urine for faces is present complete bed bath a complete bed bath is given to the patient who are not able to be bath themselves involves washing the person's entire body in bed persons who are unconsciousness paralyzed in a cast or traction weak from illness or surgery procedure for bed bathing a play place everything needed on the over bed table before beginning the bath raise the bed to a comfortable height and raise the rail on the far side of the bed wash only one part of the body at a time 
wash, rinse and dry each part and then cover it with the bath blanket. Change the water in the basin whenever it becomes soapy, dirty or cold. Keep the soap in the soap dish between the latherings. Wash from the cleanest to dirtiest areas. Wash the eyes first from the inside corner to outside corner using the different area of the cloth for each eye. After washing the face, neck and ears, remove the gun and wash the arms one at a time. Place the towel over the patient's chest. Lift the corners as you wash the chest. Repeat for the abdomen. Wash and dry one leg at a time. Change the water at this time. If you have do, if you have not already needed to do so. Wash the back and the buttocks. A back rub may be given at the, at this time. Tub bath because of safety. Concerns tub bath are not frequently given in most nursing homes. Safety measures never leave a patient alone in the tub. A bath should last no longer than 20 minutes. Place a towel on the bottom of the tub to prevent slipping. Adjust the water temperature to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Drain the tub before the person get out. Clean the tub before and after use. Shower bath. A resident will be placed on shower chair to receive a shower. Never leave the patient alone on the shower chair or in the shower room. Adjust the water temperature before you place the person in shower. Clean the shower before and after use. Gloves may be worn while bathing patient if desired. Resident will needed to be transferred from their wheelchair to shower chair. Be sure to lag both chairs before transferring. Remember shower floors can be slippery. Always have non-skid footwear on resident before standing for transfer. Specialty bath. Whirlpool bath helps to stimulate circulation and relax muscles. A portable tub bath can be used for comatose patients, skin and scalp conditions. Alopecia hair loss may result from heredity. Hair may thin with aging, may be result of cancer treatment, aristism, excessive body hair can occur in men, women or children, may result from hereditary or hormone imbalance. Skin and scalp condition, dandruff, excessive amount of dry white flakes from the scalp. Pediculus is infestation of lice, capitus infestation of this cup, pubis infestation of pubic hair, carporis infestation of body hair, scabies, small mites barrow under the skin and legs. Hair care. People feel better about themselves when their hair is combed and looks attractive. Patients should be asked how to they would like their hairstyle. Do not change patient hairstyle without permission. Never cut a patient hair. Make sure the style is as appropriate. Shampooing the hair. hair the hair usually shampooed during the residence hour. Put the washcloth over the patient eyes. Return the medicated shampoo to the nurse. Tip the person's head back to prevent shampoo from running 
in the eyes a shampoo tray can be used to shampoo the hair of bed bound patient shaving the patient always wear gloves place towel on the patient chest apply the shaving cream to the face shave in the direction of hair growth hold the skin start with your other hand rinse, rinse the razor frequently wash the face when finished caring for the mustache and beards daily washing combing are needed never trim or shave beard or mustache without person's consent shaving legs under arms practice varies among cultures usually shaved after bathing wear gloves and follow standard precautions under arms shaving direction of hair growth legs start ankle and shave up the legs apply the direct pressure to cuts nail care soaking the hands help to soften nails before trimming soak the finger nails for 5 to 10 minutes always use a nail clipper never scissor file rough nails with an emery board do not trim toenail only an rnr doctor can trim toenails examine the feet for ingrown nails hang nails broken toe nails blister rash or reddened area calces and can cans skin breaks and other injuries check between the toes toes foot and sores complaints of pain or itching let the nurse know if the patient toenail needed trimming soaking the feet soak feet for 15 to 20 minutes check with rn for water temperature after soaking apply lotion to the feet do not apply between the toes make sure you dry thoroughly between the toes follow standard precautions assisting with dressing the hospital patients wear hospital gowns or their night clothes in nursing home residents are required by the state to be dressed in street clothes during the day if the resident can not assist it is easier and safer to the dress the resident while she still st- in bed guidelines for dressing and undressing provide for privacy do not expose the person encourage the person to do as much as possible allow the person to choose what to wear remove clothing in the stronger good side first put the clothing on weak side first toes take off strong put on weak a person may have to be turned from side to side as you put on or remove their pants dressing the patient with an iv the gown first re- removed from the good arm it is the then slipped over the iv set and tubing to the bag the bag is passed through the sleeve the clean gown is passed over the iv bag do not lower the bag below the level of the iv site thank you for watching